Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about their new Star Wars TV shows, the new Star Wars movies that are currently in the works, as well as other projects out there by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing is for certain is that, yes, we do know that George, John, and Dave are all working together as a team to really deliver as much authentic Star Wars content as possible, and that's exactly what they are doing. You know, they started doing this off with The Mandalorian Season 2. Look exactly how that is doing with the Star Wars fans. It really is attracting a lot of the Lost fans. That really walked away from the franchise back in 2019 when episode 9 released, right? So now that we have Disney Plus pretty much serving as the home of the library's worth of Star Wars material, we've got creators like Dave Filoni and John Favreau who are really working around the clock to really make Star Wars as best as possible. And with the way things are going for The Mandalorian Chapter 15 and 16 and how it's going to end Season 2, it really is going to be quite something for the fans to actually witness. Now, the thing about all of this is that we've got creator Dave Filoni really using a lot of the Star Wars lore from Star Wars Legends. He is going to be pretty much directly responsible for bringing back a lot of the old Legends content into Disney Plus in its own way in order for it to somewhat take shape or fit into the current Disney canon given the circumstances. Now on top of this, with the Skywalker Saga all over and done with, both Disney and Lucasfilm are primarily focused on their new Star Wars universe and trilogy of movies. Further, it's explained that creator Dave Filoni is hard at work on fixing the character of Luke Skywalker, where one major adjustment that Dave Filoni is doing with Luke is by introducing him in The Mandalorian Season 4 in his own planned episode that is set to actually be directed with writer Jon Favreau. Now, it's, just, it's actually explained that Filoni is planning to introduce a younger version of Luke Skywalker to have a full-fledged action scene in Mando Season 4 by 2022 arrives, while also introducing the character of Mara Jade back into the Disney canon. So let's stop right there for a second. Now, we've talked about this lightly before in the past that Jon Favreau and others have plans to really kind of just resurrect the character of Mara and throwing her back into the canon. Now, to say things, you know, s simply, I mean, this really is the way, right? It really is, because when you look at what Jon Favreau has done with season one and two of The Mandalorian, you can see that it's got a lot of callbacks to Legends. Um, it's also introducing a lot of fan favorite characters again. I mean, we had Ahsoka Tano, we had Bo-Katan, you know, we have now Boba Fett, Slave One, you know, the actual ship that a lot of fans are familiar with. So many different, you know, ships and characters are coming back into The Mandalorian that we all love. And I think that's exactly why a lot of fans are very well attracted now to specifically season two of The Mandalorian. So moving on from this, all right, now this is where things begin to really pick up is that it said that it was Dave Filoni who suggested Mara Jade to come back into the canon. And that at first there were debates on whether or not this would work given of what happened with the sequel trilogy. However, Jon Favreau eventually was very excited to begin work on bringing back Luke Skywalker in the mix for that specific season of The Mandalorian with Mara Jade. Dave and John both realized that fans had been upset over what happened to Luke in The Last Jedi and that now they are trying to salvage him as a character. So let's stop right here for a second. Now, Dave Filoni is the true protege of George Lucas. This is the man that brought us the Clone Wars, that brought us, uh, you know, Star Wars Rebels, and he's also working on another animated TV series. In fact, there's a lot of talk out there that the High Republic era is going to be done in animated form as opposed to live action form. So very well possible that Dave Filoni's working on that. But aside from that, he's also working on a handful of live action projects with Jon Favreau and other creators. So I think that given where we are right now, we could really see Star Wars pretty much back to normal in three years or less. Talking about the fandom, of course, how divided Star Wars will be, 
and how, you know, the division will pretty much be pretty much seem together. I think it's going to. I think that it will eventually. It's just going to take a couple of years to get to that point. So with that being said, guys, I mean, I think that Dave Filoni knows what he's doing. He's very passionate. He knows what the fans want to see. And that's pretty much his end game. You know, he wants to reunite the fans. He wants to undo everything that was done between, you know, Kathleen Kennedy and the fans and the sequel trilogy and kind of just doing a quick refresh, right? That's what they want to do. So like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.